Okay. Now I just to start my Windows 7 client and um, it's you know it's Windows 7 is a bit older version compared to Windows 10. So I, my Internet Explorer is Windows I Internet Explorer 8. So let me try whether I can access the user portal from where I can download my VPN configurations. So I open my IE8. You can see this is IE8. If you are just uh, just to show you, uh oh, come on. Okay, I yeah, it's IE8. Let me try whether I can access. If you want to access the user portal from where you want to download the VPN configuration, you should go to the IP address of your firewall with HTTPS connection. My is 192.168.0.230 colon four four three. This is the link or this is the URL to access the user portal. That's right. Oh, now I can connect it. So IE8 not support, so I download the Firefox. So go to open the Firefox and type the URL https colon double slash one ninety two sorry one ninety two one sixty eight okay just to say this is also okay. So you, will may, you maybe get a security error for the certificate error. Just go to advanced and uh, continue to the website. So this is the page where I can log in my user account because we created a user account before with the name of Jack, whatever it is. So we can just uh, let me confirm what is my user account. Go to authentication, users. Okay, it's so mine's Jack with one two three four is the password, and uh, you want to know what how you can find out the user portal admin. Go to administration, and uh, device access. Go to be done. Okay, go to admin settings. Okay, here you can find your, this is the, your host name, this is the access to your admin admin portal, and this is for the user portal, HTTPS port, the 443. Sometimes your ISP, Internet Service Provider, may block the port 440, so you can change your port number to 10443 or 8443 whatever it is not not don't put the common port number I mean no a well-known port number just to def not the no unused port number you can use there if it's 443 is not accessible you can try to change to some other number maybe 10443 maybe it, it will be able to access so I'm just I, I can able to for the lab purpose I can able to access because of the internal network internally I can access my 443 so I go to my client machine Anyway, it's my client machine. Oh yes, here I could able to access my firewall IP address colon four four three. It will go to my user portal web pages, my account login. So here I can put my check. Where is Jack? Okay, I don't know why it's not coming. Check one two three four. Okay. Don't need to remember login. Ah, this is the user portal for Jack. You can see here my SSL VPN. You can see here download client and configuration for Windows. Why I not showing the Mac? Because there is no default or uh, SSL uh, software client for Mac or Android and iOS. Only there is a dedicated client for Windows. So I'm just to show you in the Windows client. So go to download client configuration for Windows. Download. Uh oh, you see my download is not working. So this is the problem I faced before. I can't download the configuration. I can't download the configuration. Download configuration. 
download configuration for nothing means that means this is not responding to me this is because there is a certificate error happened okay i go back to my administration page i mean in software firewall go to certificates you can see here when i want to create a new certificate it's generate self send certificate this is grayed out this is because your you can go to you because your certificate default ca or certification authority have some problem so go to certificate authorities you see here there are so many certificate authorities are available here and by you see in default there is the value is blank so it could because i told you why i'm late when i want to download the client configuration on my windows pcs i could not able to download because my default ca is blank so what i how i solve is i going to edit my default ca with some value anything you can provide here not in, not very important so my country china and my state is shanghai locality name i put it as chain shanghai organization unit i just put ou organization unit uh, anything i just put brown and my ou is ou common name is my i just put my ip address of my server 192.168.0.230 you can put anything there and email address is admin at the sf labs just just anything and my ca phrase is asd.123 common ca phrase asd.123 keep it as normal nothing to do save it are you sure you want to generate the ca yes i want to generate the ca Now you will get a message with the connection is disconnected. Please follow exactly what I do. I hope because I solved it in this way. I'm not sure in this video it's gonna work. So let me try. Just wait for a moment until the certificate is generated and you can get a message here. And you will be disconnected to the console access. I mean your web access and you may need to log in again it's taking quite long time yeah it's done you see there is a i lost connect because the certificate is reset so i lost my web access connection i think don't worry go to refresh the page okay proceed It's not done yet once you log in inside the next step you need to do is go to certificates again and because you know for the SSL VPN we are using the certificate is the appliance certificate you must regenerate the appliance certificate so next step after you log in back is uh, go here are you sure you want to regenerate the certificate okay don't miss it if you not regenerate the appliance certificate you you cannot able to connect the vpn from the client machine so now again lost the connection because whenever you change reset the certificate you will lose the web access connection just log in back again okay now go to my client machine okay I should reset his account. Here it comes. Certificate errors. Okay, here is a. This shows you to continue to website. Don't worry. It's in China. It's a, okay. Now go to download client and configuration. What happened? okay it's it's the configuration is ready i can save
before I could not able to download it. Now this is my VPL client. I, I have two options. One is I can only download the configuration if I, my client is already installed. If it's a first time, you can download the client as well as the configuration together. So first I need to install the client, then I can install the configuration. Because if you have multiple clients to log in the same PC, if you already the software is there, you can only download the configuration. Or if there is any changes, configuration changes happen for the user, you only need to download the configuration for the second time. So let me see what all things are downloaded. Okay, my client is, uh, where is client, yes. So the first option I select is download client and configuration together. So I'm going to install this one. Start it, why not start? Okay, just install yes. So I'm going to install the configuration. The system is slow because so far might be the memory. Right, still not start. Next, I agree. I install, so I'm going to install. It's a configuration is installed. Okay, install. Just the installation is very simple. Just you just need to follow. Next, 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 next. Finish. That's it. Could take a bit of time to install the service it depends on your network speed and all okay it's done yep mine is finished you can see there is a traffic light kind of so forth as a vpn client just double click on it provide your username check one two three four click ok i can click here so i can see what's happening to my connection whether it is disconnected or can see your like kind of a log option something whether any error happens yeah hopefully it will be connected no okay that means it's connected you can see it's connected success and I get IP address is 10 81 2 34 6 so we can check uh, what is my tunnel ip ip, IP config slash all okay let's look for my vr ip Yep, here ten dot eighty one dot two thirty dot six. This is the IP address what we get from the VPN pool IP address we configured on the firewall. And yes, the VPN connection is successful. Now you can access your corporate device, corporate LAN network, which is assigned for you is one ninety two one sixty eight zero dot network. That's it. That's it for the VPN configuration and the troubleshooting which you may be face while downloading the user configurations and you can what we need to do is just go to the firewall check whether your default CA is a blank if blank fill in the information then it will be connection will be disconnected login back directly go to certificates again 
and regenerate your appliance CA because we are using the appliance certificate for connecting the SSL VPN. Thanks for watching. Please write down your comments and please subscribe if you like the video.